Okay, we're going to start counting our days of lockdown, and I'm hoping we won't get to too big a number. But we're going to start today, and we're going to start with the number one. <gasps> one. Let's start by practicing to write it, because I think one of our goals this lockdown should get should be to get really neat at writing numbers. Now, number one, nice and simple. Start at the top, straight line down. Let me show you on the line side. Start at the top, straight line down. That's a one. Some people put a little diagonal bit at the top. You don't need it. That is a one. Let's try and write it as a number sentence. Now, if we were doing an adding sentence, there's only one. Well, there's two adding sentences. One. But if we would say zero and one is the same as one. Let's say that together. Zero and one is the same as one. So, clear this off. Zero and one is the same as one. The other way of saying this is one and zero is the same as one. Let's test that. If I have one finger up on this hand and no fingers up on this hand, then I've got one finger. If I do this, the number hasn't changed. Just the way round that my hands are. So I still only have one finger. Zero and one is the same as one. One and zero is the same as one. Now, I have made a super fun magical background for today, so I'm going to disappear through the magic of technology and appear in a cloud in my maths garden. Here I am in my magical maths garden. Now, what number were we thinking about? One. Wonderful. Here, I've got a number line. It goes all the way from zero to ten. Now, which of these numbers is the number one? It doesn't look quite the same as the number one that I drew, does it? Because this font has tried to be fancy. But the number one is there. Where? There! Right, okay, so that's the number one. Yes, that's definitely the number one. Okay. Are you sure? Oh, where was it again? Is there! That's the number one. One. It's one bigger than zero. It's one smaller than two. So it fits in between the zero and the two on our number line. One. Right. So let's try and get to the number one. But this time we're going to start from the number ten. So from ten. Let's count all the way backwards until we get to number one. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I know lots of you are going to be thinking, finding one's really easy, Mr. Ledger. Number one is a really simple number. So I've got a bit of a challenge for you. I'm going to show you a problem solving skill, and I want you to come up with your own problem stories that have the answer one. First, there were five donuts. Then something happened. Now there's only one donut. What happened to get from five to one? Oh, four donuts have to disappear, don't they? One, two, three, four donuts have moved out. Let's make this into a math story. First, there were five donuts. Then, Mr. Ledger tiptoed into the room and snaffled the donuts and ate them all up. He ate four donuts. Now, there's only one donut left. Poor Mrs. Brain. Let's try the next one. I wonder if you can make up a story for this one for me. First, there were one, two. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight rabbits. Now there's only one. What happened? First, there were eight rabbits. Then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rabbits. Then, seven rabbits went on holiday to Spain, even though it's not advised at the moment. Now, there's only one rabbit left. First, there were no flowers in Mr. Ledger's garden. Then, there was sunshine and rain, and out of the mud grew one beautiful flower. I want to see if you can come up with your own first, then, now stories for the number one. Hmm. First, there were... Six footballs. Then Mr. Ledger kicked the footballs as hard as he could, and five of the footballs went into the goal. Now there's just one football that's not in the goal. First, there were three friends who were all playing at the park. Then, two of those friends had to go home for tea. Now, there's one boy left playing in the park. I'd love to hear some of your stories. You could video them. You could have a go at writing them. You could draw them. You could make your first then and now boxes and fill it in. And then get your mummies and daddies to post some pictures onto Teams so that I can see the lovely work you've been doing.